and there goes back at home. Uh, this is Brendan here, and uh, with my assistant Inga, uh, we are filming a post harvest video from the 2023 vintage. Uh, so we'll just discuss a little bit about what happened in the cellar for 2023, what happened out in the vineyards, uh, the goods, the bads, uh, the do's and the don'ts. Okay, not too many of those. Um, and then yeah, we'll just fire off a couple of questions and um, yeah, I'll give you viewers at home a bit of an idea as to what happened in the cellar. So I'm Brandon Smith, I'm the cellar master and winemaker here at Saxonburg. Um, what that basically entails is during the harvest, I went out a lot into the vineyards um, and with my viticulturist Donovan, we discussed picking dates as well as what cultivars were going to come in on a particular day. Um, and yeah, you know, went through the whole farm, block by block, pick by pick, uh, and eventually after 450 tons, we got everything into the cellar, and that's where Inga took over. Hi, I'm Inga Brugger Milan. Um, I'm the assistant winemaker at Saxon Wines. Um, so yeah, basically uh, my my job just uh, I report everything back to Brendan, the cellar master. And uh, basically just being on the floor, making sure all operations are, are running, uh, making sure the cellar workers are doing their duties, and just overall just enjoying, enjoying making great wines. Uh, so we both have a bit of a sneak peek in our glasses today. Uh, Inga, would you like to tell us what you drink? Yeah, so believe it or not, in my glass I have the 2023 Gnifal Chenin Blanc. Just a nice, refreshing, crisp white wine. Uh, really lovely to enjoy. Uh, for me, this is the perfect one I would take to a bride. And um, Brendan, in your glass, tell us a bit more. Ooh, uh, in my glass, I have the Winemakers Blend, uh, White Blend 2022. It's a lovely blend of Chenin Chardonnay, as well as a little bit of Semiel for lovely waxiness on the palate. Um, lovely wine to enjoy with food, uh, all by itself. Right. I think, yeah, the 2023 harvest was. Uh, yeah, it was a great first vintage at Saxonburg. Uh, all the white cultivars came in nicely. Um, great acidities on the farm, low pHs, and great ripeness and uh, fruit, I think, in the 2023 vintage. Um, towards the reds, we got lovely quality cab, uh, finitage, as well as uh, first picks of syrup. Towards the end of the 2023 vintage, though, there was a bit of rain that uh, caused a little bit of concern. Uh, but at the end, I think our quality shone through and we can be very happy with our print print Yeah, definitely agree on that. <laughs> so Inga, tell us how the 2023 vintage was for you. Our 2023 uh, was quite an interesting harvest. Uh, we had a lot of factors that played a role uh, in making the wine this year. Uh, especially with a bit of rain that came towards the end of the season and we were spanning in the works. Um, but overall, the, the thing that stood out um, the most in the greenest harvest was the, the massive concentration of the whites. And on the red wines, we just observed so much concentration in colour. Um, the colour just stood out uh, from the start since the grapes came in and towards the end of the fermentation as well. And the team, I think, this year just worked so well together. I know it was Brendan's first harvest as well. I just think everything blended in communication was spot on. Um, yeah, overall, a crunching, stellar harvest. Thank you. <laughs> I must agree with that color concentration. Um, it's been a while since, you know, on the second day of fermentation, you're looking into a, cap, a, a tank of syrup, and uh, it's a deep violet that uh, is being punched out or pumped over. Uh, the color was incredible. Yeah, that was amazing to see. from the harvest. I'd have to say that um, my highlight from 2023 harvest was actually seeing the team come together uh, so nicely from out in the vineyards all the way through to the cellar team as well as our um, bigger team in the offices and uh, also our sales reps coming into the cellar lending a hand. Um, I think I work very well with Inga as well as um, with Donovan outside of the vineyards and I think that really shows our quality that we brought into the the cellar this year, it all comes down to your, your team and the strength of that team. For you, Inga? Yeah, for me, uh, the highlight was um, it's also it was teamwork this year. Um, I think it was just that when you came into the cellar early mornings, it was still dark, while you were still in bed, 
Um, you just came in, I would switch on the music, get some music running, and immediately you would see that effect it had on the cellar workers, and we would just start, and everybody knew, you wouldn't even have to say a thing, and everybody started to do what they had to do for the day. Um, and overall, I would say communication between the winemaker and myself, and the viticulturists as well. Um, I think we seldom had problems where things didn't happen as it should have happened. Um, overall, just the quality of the grapes that came in, uh, yeah, for me it was, it was uh, physical, very physical, got my steps in. Um, but yeah, overall I think it's going to be good quality. And the, the playlist was provided by none other than our own Sandrine Lowe. <laughs> Thank you, Sandrio. Shout out to you. Yeah, I've really kept the team motivated. Made a bit of fallout for them with some other interesting tracks. Like, a, <laughs> some, we had some good Afrikaans tunes. Have you ever seen a cellar worker uh, uh, socking with a punch down stick while yeah. doing punch downs? It's <laughs> 7 in the morning. <laughs> 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 uh, I think from the 2023 vintage, um, there really is so much to look forward to. Um, I don't know if it's just me and my excitement and my first vintage here at Saxonburg, but uh, I don't want to blow my own horn, horn yet. Uh, but really, this uh, Guinea Fowl Chenin Blanc from 2023 is already a great uh, wine. It's young, but it's uh, really fruit forward, and I think that's already something to look forward to from this vintage. Um, other than that, we've done some interesting experiments in the cellar. Um, and those we really hope to incorporate into our private collection um, and also our triple S wines uh, later on. Yeah. So watch the space. And from your side, Inga? Well, from my side, um, as you mentioned, the, the experiments we use this year in the cellar, especially on the white wines, which is usually for me it's the most exciting time just working with the whites, especially um, when the Sauvignon Blanc uh, comes in. There's a lot of different use we play with, uh, different techniques we use um, on the juice. And for me, the most exciting part, and also for you guys back at home, um, is definitely going to be the aromas you're going to get on the nose uh, on the white wines. It's, uh, it's going to be a bit of everything. Um, the special location we have here at Saxonburg uh, provides us with so many different microclimates that just adds more to this wine in general, which I think is very exciting. Lots of it. Alright, so in this next section, uh, we're going to do a lightning round or a speed or a quick fire um, session where Inga and myself <laughs> just spit fire questions at each other. Uh, the questions have been outlined by you at home. A couple of individuals have sent questions in, um, and then a couple of others that we just threw in you know, for, for reasons. So, Inga, when jumping into a tank, gumboots or big fish? I need to answer further questions. <laughs> yeah, you have it, folks. Barefoot. <laughs> yeah. Brendan, for you. Cheese panel or hands? Always hands. Yeah. Always <laughs> to pass some a pipe onto the tank with your bare hands. Yeah. And then. Inga? First couple of our choice. Charlotte or Savio? Savio. Definitely Savio Blanc. Um, much more to do with her tomorrow. Okay, uh, cycling or jogging? Cycling. <laughs> Save those knees. <laughs> <laughs> Save those knees. Save the knees. I'll remember that. <laughs> Save the knees. Um, when it comes to your favorite brand of socks. Versus socks. Versus. <laughs> That's my, my um, brand of choice when uh, working in the wine cellar. Um, yeah, good quality. Uh, Brendan, for you, um, let's think about that. Red or white? Ultimately, I'd go for red. Red wine. It's now coming close to that time where winter's here. That Surrey 2020 is drinking beautifully. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of you at home, you might have um, noticed a couple of uh, bottles of wine hanging around the set today. Uh, these are some new vintages that are soon to be released or have been released already. Uh, you'll find them in our tasting room as well as on our online store. And those would be our Guinea Fowl Shin and Blanc 2023, our most recent release. Um, that will be in the tasting room from this week on. Um, then hiding behind Inga at the back here is our Sura 2020. 
Uh, for those of you who need a nice glass of red for these winter months, that is a perfect wine. It's drinking beautifully at the moment. Um, I think we do have some tasting notes online for you to take a look at. Um, and you'll also find that in the tasting room and in the online store. And then specifically for our wine club members, um, our winemakers blend 2022, the white blend, uh, that's recently become available in the wine box or wine club box. Uh, so definitely look out for this online or in the tasting room. And now we're getting to that time in the video where we do have a couple of thanks um, or notes of thanks to give out. Um, first and foremost to Fiona, um, thank you so much for just your presence, your passion, um, your dedication to Saxonburg and the wines that we produce here. Um, it's always lovely to get your opinion on these matters as well as hear what you have to say about the wines and we look very forward um, to tasting with you the fruits of the 2023 harvest. Um, then we'd really like to thank Mr and Mrs Bureau and the rest of the Bureau family. Um, your dedication and your timeless vision to Saxonburg is really thought-provoking and inspirational um, and we thank you for your contributions and the role that you play at Saxonburg and uh, we look forward to tasting with you all very soon. Yeah, just from my side as well, I'd just like to thank uh, Brendan, the cellar master and winemaker, uh, just for, for his time and obviously leadership in the cellar. Um, it's, it obviously means a lot to us and the cellar team and to keep everybody together and to keep the communication flowing. And also uh, to the guys in the cellar, um, I know the hours is um, not the best hours you can have, but it's just three months for the year. Um, just the time and effort and, and just keeping the energy high and especially to the office as well, um, just uh, for your thoughts uh, to us in the cellar, always uh, willing to help where they can. And yeah, overall, uh, just want to say cheers to this team to the team. And with Kayla making a special appearance for Punch Downs and Pub oh, yeah. Burgers, you know, the, <laughs> the rock midway through, through harvest, uh, she really demonstrated those guns, it was incredible. <laughs> Last but last but not least, um, Donovan and your vineyard crew out in the, the vineyards, uh, your tireless effort and also passion and dedication to the vine. And obviously you can't make good wine without perfect immaculate grapes. And you really delivered that this year and we thank you for that Donovan. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Um, so, for all of you at home, if you'd like to read up a little bit more about the harvest or what we have to say um, at Nauseam, you're more than welcome to uh, follow, follow us um, and also take a look at our harvest blog, uh, which uh, we've got online. Uh, yeah, and also uh, remember to give us a follow on Instagram and also on TikTok. We've got some quite, uh, quite a bit of cool content to show you guys, especially if you want to see what life is like in the cellar or in the tasting room on Saxon and wines. Um, no, there's a lot of things that you guys can keep an eye out for. How to do a pump over. <laughs> How to take a bulling and what is, uh, why do you take a bulling during harvest as well. So anything anything you can think of during, uh, during harvest or just in general on, in the cellar, you can just uh, go on Saxon and wines uh, Instagram page or on TikTok and watch your uncle. <laughs> cheers to harvest 2023. Cheers. cheers. cheers.